morning everyone another daily little update on the allotment and i want to get a lot done today i'm, I'm not a lot done but i want to get a main feature done and that is to get this now set out completely set out and possibly put the rest of the the, the string hooks the tomato hooks along there as well well plans never go to but that's that's what i'm intending to do now these are my grafted ones the aubergines and they're coming on great there now so i came up yesterday last night and i was gonna fleece and it, it, i think it was temperature I was gonna get down to round about i think six and i thought ah, i'm not gonna bother now so we're, we're good i think we're we're over that hurdle but i did plant in these and it's greenhouse sensation I think I was saying green sensations would might probably took to a totally different place, but it's greenhouse sensations. And I did with this one. Look at that, it's looking really good man, that one. I did fill up the water butts. Now because this has got fur this is the, the I forget what it's called, the grow more, it's actually got fertilizer in the compost. I'm gonna wait a while before I fill up with the nutrient provided. But they're really good. Logistics of this video. I've got the microphone there can you see that i don't think you can see that there without the gut hanging over that's where and i'm tapping it that's not a good sign it was looking like silly there you know what i mean and you kind of you get all the oh, puffs and puffs it's getting better but it still takes a while so let us know if that's any good i haven't got like a, a dead cat or a dead mouse over it at the moment so i'm just trying it by itself with a naked microphone but we'll see how that goes. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire There we go then there's the four aubergines so six in total now i got the because i've always just like tried one or two and last year i bought one and it i just ignored it to be quite honest and it was it went a bit like the tomatoes there i didn't really bother with it but i watched the charles dowden youtube one where he's doing the aubergines and i got those are the ones that he uses as well the, the grafted ones now he says he waits until and i didn't even know this they split into two and then you've got the two stems going up and he he actually puts those you know those strings or he yeah he does he strings them up like that so that's what i'm intending to do wait until they split and then string them up so i think for these peppers and the chilies I'm going to try and get as many in there as possible and use a smaller pot, hopefully. Because I want, I want some sweet peppers, to be honest. Actually, look at that. Buggers are on already. There you go. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, there's a sign I need to start planting them. Right, and I've got one grafted spare in case I mess up. But we're getting there. Another quick note before I carry on there. I put, did I mention, I put the water in there and I didn't do the fertiliser, but you can see round there where it is damp, you know what I mean? So the water, the capillary action is 
seem to come now apparently this surface does dry off in really hot times but they're looking all right <laughs> and you know you just could have a like another whole another row of them i've had a few comments about people who's been using these for years and years you know and they swear by them so how cool is that so what's going in next is me, like I say, the sweet peppers. And I got this idea of, or these plants of Steve Digwell, not Digwell, Steve, it's Steve Greenside Up. So the peppers he was planting. And I planted these on the 30th in January and put them in the propagator. So, and they've went through that cold spell as well. So I'm not, you know, we'll hopefully get something now once the season's picked up, we'll get them in. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to leave They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the... There we go. There's the peppers in. Now, depending how high they grow, I've never grown them ones before, but normally peppers grow to, you know, three foot high. I'll have to ask Steve, because it was his recommendation to get, oh that's what he's grown this year, so I don't know if he's grown before or not, but I don't know whether to just stake them or again the line down, we'll, we'll wait and see. I think I've got room for another six plants there, whichever ones they're going to be, and I might try thereafter sneaky them in, you know what I mean, there's a nice big line along there, put a cup, maybe three in there, we'll see how that goes. Just if you're interested, these these, there's some there. The pots, oh, you know, I was saying like that. They're a whole, they are bought like this. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a kind of thing we're just like, but it's a definitely, a, I don't know if it's a northeast thing, but but these are plant pots that I've got no holes in. Now, I can't remember where I got them from. It'll just have been Amazon or eBay, one of the two. So, right, let's get these chili bombs in. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide Another quick little update, look man, be buggered Second course yet, when did I sow these? 20, oh, 25th to the 3rd, it's not that long ago So, I mean I don't want that many but it's nice that I've at least got two These are bloody Things I'll have to get them out now, we've been all the shallots, man, for God's sake. It's amazing how, like, look at that one there, then that one there. It's just different. Anyway. Right then. There we go. There is the chilies. And there's my silly chilies over there. Actually, that, that one actually is a, it's called a cherry bomb. And I'd like to kind of grow some of them. I've got some more I need to plant up. But my silly ones, the four at the back, and them two there, which I'll not even kind of use. Then my peppers. And fun. now, Audrey, can you help me out here? These Dr. White's yellows, do they go into two trusses? Because as it happens, one was going into like a double truss and my rake fell and actually snapped it. <laughs> Anyways, so I've took it over here and planted it up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> There's me two. Oh, that one's not looking too good. There's me two volunteers and that one, that truss. So Audrey, help us out. Dr. White's yellow, do I just let it go up as like up the string there or does that another bush one? I know these ones apparently are bush ones and I just let go. These are the Prince Borgies. Oh, they're looking a lot better now, mind you. That one especially. And he has a little final goodbye from me. It didn't work the last final bit of the, the video. So I just want to say a huge thank you and look after yourself and see you tomorrow.
I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know